interesting magnetic material are superconductors. You'll learn that in physics too, that currents, electrical currents, produce magnetic fields. Superconductors can flow without any opposition. So in this superconducting magnet, about 80 amps of current have been, has been flowing for more than 20 years without any energy put into it. And this produces a very large magnetic field. Um, which we use for magnetic resonance studies. You may have heard of MRI images of your brain or your knee. I'd like to show you, even though this produces a very strong field inside the magnet, outside where it's quite weak, it's still quite effective. So here I'm taking a, uh, a, a row of paper clips and you can see it gets become suspended in space. Sometimes I call this walking the invisible dog but it's the magnetic field produced by the magnet producing a force on these iron particles. Let's look at another magnetic phenomenon. In addition to having zero resistance, which enables superconductors to carry large currents and produce large magnetic fields, they also have an interesting magnetic property called magnetic expulsion, where they push magnetic fields out of them. I'm gonna show you how this works. I have a small disk of a high temperature superconductor here. This black disk is yttrium barium copper oxide. And I'm gonna cool it below its superconducting transition with liquid nitrogen. This is just nitrogen, the same uh, gas that we breathe. 80% uh, of the air is nitrogen. And uh, this has been cooled to, its, uh, to condense at 77 Kelvin, which is negative 196 degrees C. So I'm gonna keep pouring a little on this superconductor until it cools down, and then we'll be able to see uh, briefly its magnetic expulsion properties. All right, let's see if it's cold. All right, I'm gonna take an ordinary uh, permanent magnet, like a refrigerator magnet, um, and put it above the superconductor here. And what you'll see is that it floats in space. This is called magnetic levitation. The superconductor repels the magnet just like two magnets would repel, but unlike two magnets where they'd be unstable and just flip around, the superconductor stays stably floating in, in, uh, in the air. And just to, show, just to show you there's no tricks involved, I'll pass a hoop underneath it, no strings uh, attached.